and welcome back to another video guys in, the, in this video i'm just going to go through um this one here the cylinder pressure sensor i'll show you what it is and where to find it as you can see the engine management light is on so that code is to be found obviously on the engine let's just stop the ignition on any of this i shall just show you so if we pop the hood open and let's just pop that on right so i've already changed the sensor so you're aware that is the sensor okay take it off it's a size uh, 12 socket long socket you need not normal ones uh, not the short ones should we say um change it obviously i've not cleared the fault because you have to clear it um and hopefully it sh that should cure it if not then you have internal um faults rather than just there um, but there has been a new one and that sort of sensor you're looking if you buy online and you're in a rush, you're talking 70 quid-ish. Well, we're in 2024, that's the sort of figure. But obviously, if you're an agent, then Bullseye, you're a car part, and all these places are going to charge you a whopping £120-ish, depending on if you're in the trade or not. But that's what you'd be looking at. Um, but that's the fault code there. And uh, I do highly recommend buying, like... Um, an OEM sensor as well, nothing just uh, aftermarket if that makes sense. So we shall clear the codes before it wasn't clearing, it was permanent and how can I put it? It was quite solid, it wasn't turning off. You can tell that, that it was a faulty sensor, shall we say? So it says clear, but let's just turn it on and see if that does match. Oh, there we go. So all good. Jobs are good in, as you can see, guys. Okay. So we turn it on and off. There we go. So the last time we did this, it came on no matter what. Uh, no matter if you cleared it or what. But uh, as you can see, it's all gone. And um, if you get into the engine control unit. By the way, this is the Launch X431 Elite. Uh, very well advanced uh, 